Today, I will show you how to install Shellex Lure. Shellex Lure is one of the three major programs for crystal structure refinement. I have to stress that these programs are mainly for small molecule as opposed to protein and for single crystal as opposed to powder crystal. For protein crystal, there are Phoenix, CCP4, etc. For powder crystal, they have GSense, HKL2000, etc. Those are not today's topics. Today, I will only talk about the Shellex Lure, which is one of the three major programs for single crystal, small molecule structural refinement. Just for your information, the other two are Olex2 and WinGX. I will talk about Olex2 in a separate video. And this tutorial is for people with zero experiences. So I will start from the very beginning, downloading the software. Go to your web browser, type in Shellexler download. Find this authentic website, which is shellexler.org, then click you will get to this page. In order to be able to download, you need to do one of the two things. Either register or you solve the capture every single time. For the registration, it is free and you only need to do it once. So I strongly encourage you to register as it is a way to show appreciation to the author also, it is more convenient for future updates. After the registration, click Login. Now you can access the software. Scroll down to find the latest updates for your operating system. For me, I'm using Windows 10 64 bits. So I can go for either of these two. One side note, if you don't know whether your system is 64-bit or 32-bit, just right-click this window icon. Right-click and click on System. And you will see the system type 64-bit. Then you will know. Obviously, if your system is not a Windows 10, this method may not work. But you can always Google. Suppose you are using Win7, then you simply type in Google how to find whether my computer is 64-bit or 32-bit for Windows 7 system. Then you'll get the answers. Back to the topic. I'm not particularly clear what is the difference between QT5 versus QT4. If any of you know that, please share it in the comment area. I'm curious to know it. For this tutorial, I will just go for this one. If for whatever reason this QT5 does not work for you, you can try QT4 then. Click Save to download. After the downloading, click Run. You may see this window. But no need to panic, it is ok, just click on more info, click run anyway, then click next, click I agree, click next. Here you can choose where to install the program. You can accept the default location, no problem, and you can also go anywhere you like. For the purpose of demonstration, I will go to C disk. Then I'm going to make a new folder and I rename it to demo. Choose demo, then OK. Notice the path has been updated now. Click next, click install then click finish notice that here you have run shellxler 
program checked. So once you click finish, it will open the program interface automatically. Okay. However, the installation is only half done. It's not finished yet. To explain what I mean, let me run a data set for you. By the way, it is a good time now to pause the video here and go ahead to click the link below for a demo data set if you don't have one available to play with. Once you get the data, you can come back to resume the video. Let's pause for 5 seconds while you are downloading. Ok, let's continue. To open a data set, you either click on this icon or you can click File, Open. Then you browse to your folder of the data. There must be at the minimum of two files needed to be able to use Shellac Slur. One is res, the other is HKL. You don't see the HKL file now because there is an active filter here. But I know for a fact it is there. This ins file is optional. Click res file, then click open. Now you see this structural model. This is a preliminary structure. The next thing is to refine. You can click uh, the left icon of these two. These two are similar, but uh, there is a difference. You can either click on this icon or you can press F2 on your keyboard. The difference between these two are this one is for the isotropic model which is usually the preliminary model you start with. This one will convert isotropic model to anisotropic model, then refine. So you always start with this one first. You can also press F2 to do the same thing. Press F2 to refine, you will see this red text error. Basically, it is saying it could not find the Shellex L program. Just for your information, the program we just installed, this Shellex Lear, is only a GUI, a graphic user interface. But behind the scene, whenever you click this button to let it refine, it actually calls for the Shellex L program behind the scene. So Shellex L program is the one which is doing the job. In other words, it is a brain. For the sake of the following discussion, I will temporarily call Shellex Lear this program the fifth program. Or the Shellex L, the one we are missing, the brain program. At this point, we only get the fifth but not the brain yet. Next, let's go get the brain. Again, go to the web browser, type in Shellex L package downloader. Pay attention here is Shellex L without E to the end. With the E, it was the one we just installed. Make sure you find this authentic website, then click to get into the page. As this program is developed by a different author, so you need to register again. But please don't complain. These programs are truly fantastic and free. What else can you ask for, right? You only need to register once. Click register. Academic user. And you put in all the information and click submit. So after the registration, you click download. Scroll down to the bottom, click download the programs. Now you type in the username and password you just created. Then click OK. Then you come to this page. Again, you need to find the one which is appropriate for your own operating system. For me, it is Windows 10 64-bit, so you just click this one to download. 
then again you save first then you click run click this icon to make it up front you can just uh, keep the default setting or you can uncheck any program as long as you know what you are doing I strongly suggest you keep everything and they are small anyway then click next then you choose a location to install note you need to remember this location for further settings so either take a snapshot of the screen or write a, a note somewhere let me browse to the same location same folder i installed the first program then click ok make sure to remember this folder as we need to come back to this one later then click install then click close okay shell Xler, we need to let this program know where the brain program is so let's click shellx specify shellx runtime option then you click browse then you go to up this is the one we just installed so you double click then you click open then click ok click this first then press F2 to refine it will do the job beautiful some ending note if you have multiple programs which can open the res file like me you can assign shellx slur as your default program to open the res file so next time you only need to double click on the res file then it will be open in shell Xler. to do this you simply right click on the res file click on properties click change default program to open the file then you find the shell Xler program you just installed then click ok to confirm i will continue in another video the demonstration of how to process the data be sure to subscribe if you like my videos. You need to click the bell icon in order to get the notification whenever my next video comes out. Thank you for watching. See you next time.